For my egg rolls, here are my ingredients. Start by measuring your flour into your bowl, which is 900 grams. Also measure your margarine, which is 240 grams, and then set aside. Into the flour, add your salt and nutmeg and mix together. Next, add your baking powder. Remember, what we are trying to do is to make sure that all the powdered ingredients are mixed together first before the liquid one starts coming in. And be sure to sieve your baking powder while adding it to avoid lumps. And it is 3 teaspoon. Next, measure your sugar which is 135 grams and add and also mix together after that the next thing that comes in now is our butter or your margarine now begin to rub in until all is completely mixed well. Next, add two and a half cups of water. But I'm going to start with two cups of water before adding the half cup. Now, in some cases, I do this because most flour products are not the same. Some of them, by the time I finish adding the two cups, is okay. Why some will require extra half cup of water. So looking at what I'm getting, it means that this one requires extra half cup of water, which made the total water to be two and a half. It has to be this sticky, not too runny and not too strong. Next, this is one secret ingredient that helps my egg roll to be very tasty. That is my fresh pepper. And I have used six of that fresh pepper, crushed them before adding it. Okay? So I have to mix with my sp wooden spatula thoroughly so that everything will be fully and well mixed. So please, if you want to get it right and very tasty, do not skip the fresh pepper. You can blend your own very well, but not with that is you can. You can mortar it very well, but not with blender as, you know, the blender will always require you add something like water. But if you have the type of blender that, you, that will just crush it, go ahead and crush and then add to it. But please do not blend with water. So after mixing, you are going to cover it to rest for at least 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, you weigh the total dough to know what it will give you. Now, if you are doing a market dough, that is if you are selling it for commercial purposes, you need to divide the dough into equal parts, as, especially if you are a beginner. But most people that are not beginners can use their eyes and gauge it. But as a beginner, you should always know what to do. So I have 1,842 grams here. And this particular dough should be able to cover comfortably 18 eggs, cooked eggs for you. But for here, I'm using just 15 cooked eggs. So I'm going to be dividing the entire dough by 15. And it will give me 122.8. Let's say 123 grams. Okay. So you now begin to measure your 123 grams but first sprinkle some flour on the tray because that's where you'll be placing all the measured dough don't forget so it won't stick to the tray also you're also going to be sprinkling some flour on the scale so that also it will not stick to the scale so i will only demonstrate with one the rest will be done behind camera but you will see the result at the end of it Okay, so this is 123 grams I've done now. I'm doing the rest behind camera. Okay? And that is it all. I've been able 
to divide all of them okay and it gave me 15 pieces it's remaining a very small one which i am using now to taste the oil to know when the oil gets hot enough for me you can see my eggs now i have taken one of the dough now when you are molding your hands must be flawed make sure there's enough floor on your hands and now when you place your egg you begin to close up at the end of it you hold all the mouth together and twist so that there won't be any opening else it will open inside the oil okay just like that and then you hold it and twist it sorry it's off camera and then you put it into the oil so now when you collect one dough you try bringing all the rough parts together on top so that the under will be smooth and then place your egg begin to push carefully until the entire egg is closed and after that you twist the mouth in order to seal it up okay always touch your hands in floor okay just make sure you're always applying floor in your hands once you notice that it's trying to stick okay that's the only way you can get it done smoothly like a ball okay now don't forget to always turn the egg roll once you put it in oil else it will begin to burn because i'm teaching i'm almost trying to forget that okay as soon as you put it use your spoon and you know flip over now the oil i'm using is not big enough all right but you need enough oil because this is a deep frying method but that does not mean that it will not come out well it will still come out well but try as much as possible to be flipping as you are putting it okay you can see it still came out like a bowl but you notice the part that burns a little bit that is what you shouldn't have allowed to happen and it happened because the dough is resting on the net of the oil touching the bottom of the pan but if you have enough oil it may not really touch although the bones even made it look more beautiful but then you don't really need that if you have enough oil okay so you can see how it came out they were all coming out in a ball shape and no one got broken because i was able to seal up very well okay the sealing is the most vital thing you must do when you are molding your egg roll if you don't seal it well, it will break and oil will fall inside and you will not like the outcome. Okay? I'm going to be showing you again what I mean by the twisting. I just pray that this time around it to show well. I never knew that my video was not facing my hand when I was doing it. So let's go again. You collect one of the dough okay mold it into a ball that is bringing all the rough part up making sure your hands are always with floor as you're trying to close if your hand is not always with floor it will begin to stick at the end of the day you hold it and twist out a small thing at the mouth that will show you that you have really sealed it okay and after that i'll just roll it like i am making a ball okay and then i put it straight to the oil now i pick another one see how i threw it into the into the floor and then i start gathering it my hands also are with floor okay and after that i place you see the back very smooth now the up is where you have the rough parts then you place your egg and gradually begin to cover it touching your hands uh, floor as you are doing that until you bring the whole mouth together and then you twist it out okay in order to seal it well after you now uh, throw it like you are making a ball and then after that straight to the oil okay now i am doing the last one okay i'm doing the last one the same method is what I use in all of them and it gave me the result I wanted please there is something I did not remember to tell you before frying your egg roll make sure that the oil is not too hot 
If not, after frying, your egg roll, the inside of the dough will not cook well. And people will tell you that you gave them an undone egg roll. So always make sure that you are frying on a moderate hot oil. Okay? Making sure that it's cooking gradually. And that's the only way your egg roll will cook very well without getting burnt. So if on the process the oil becomes too hot, just reduce it. Okay? So here comes our finished egg roll. You can see how it's looking very appetizing and very yummy. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.